Ladies and gentlemen, the Dennis Day Show. Yes, it's Dennis Day with Robert Iron Brewster in the orchestra and Dennis' special guests, Rosemary Clooney and Paramount's newest star, Dick Shannon. And now here he is, the star of our show, Dennis Day. unusual day feel like throwing my worries away as an old native born Californian would say it's a most unusual day there's a most unusual sky not a sign of a cloud passing by and if I want to sing throw my heart in the ring it's a most unusual day there are people meeting people there is sunshine everywhere. There are people greeting people and a feeling of spring in the air. It's a most unusual time. I keep feeling my temperature climb. If my heart won't behave in the usual way, well, there's only one thing to say. It's a most unusual, most unusual, most unusual day. Paramount Pictures night around here tonight, doesn't it? Yes, Jimmy. Rosemary Clooney is paying us a visit, and she's due here right now. Ladies and gentlemen, one of Paramount's loveliest singing stars, Miss Rosemary Clooney. Thank you, Dennis. Rosemary, am I glad to see you. What did you want to see me about, Dennis? Well, look, Rosemary, I'll tell you. In your next picture, do you think you might be able to play opposite me? Well, Dennis, this particular part calls for a big, strong, strapping, rootin' tootin' Texan from Texas. Partner, you're looking at one. <laughs> Where I come from, peas have the size of watermelon and four potatoes make a dozen, and you don't tell the kids about the birds and the bees. No, sir, you tell them about elephants and hippopotamuses. <laughs> Tell me more, Tex. i tell you what I'm going to do, little lady. You sing me a right pretty little old song there now, and I'll give you a couple of trinkets for your charm bracelet. Rhode Island and Delaware. Is that all? No, ma'am. I'm going to give you something to carry them home in. The Grand Canyon. <laughs> I better hurry and sing before he wakes up. Love, you didn't do right by me You planned a romance that just hadn't a chance And I'm through Love, you didn't do right I'm back on the shelf and I'm blaming myself, but it's you. My one love affair didn't get anywhere from the start. To send me a joke who had winter and snow in his heart. Wasn't smart love You didn't do right by me As they say in the song 
little lady. I mean, uh, how about it, Rosemary? Do I get the part, huh? Well, Dennis, I don't know. Yeah? Nowadays, movies are going in for more realism. For this part, we need a real honest-to-goodness rip-roaring Texan. Mm. And I think the studio has just signed the ideal fellow for the part of this Texan. Who? Tennessee Ernie. <laughs> well, don't worry, Dennis. I've got an idea for you that will utilize your talents perfectly. Why, with this idea, every producer in Hollywood will be running after you. Well, 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 what, what is it, huh? Uh, say Rosemary. Well, it's Dick Shannon. <laughs> Dennis, do you know Dick Shannon? Certainly. He's our other guest tonight. I invited him over to do a dramatic sketch. Good. I'll sit right here and listen. Oh, but wait a minute. You were telling me about a great idea you had for me in pictures. Later, Dennis. Right now, I'm anxious to hear Dick Shannon. Well, okay... Ladies and gentlemen, in keeping with our regular feature of presenting a new screen talent, tonight I have the pleasure of introducing Richard Shannon, six feet and 185 pounds of athletic physique, which spells outdoor action. Now he's cast as a telephone linesman in our dramatic scenario, In a Nutshell, written by Peter Curtis, entitled Dial 114. <laughs> Dial 114 on your telephone, and a pleasant, polite voice answers, repair service. In response to your report of a buzzing on the wire or a bad connection, wheels are set in motion which expedite a truck full of equipment and a competent young man to make matters right for you. I'm Dan Baker. I'm a troubleshooter for the telephone company. You make a complaint, I'll make the repair. I had time for one more call before I knocked off for lunch. Well, what do you know? San Genesta Avenue, only two blocks from my house. Might as well go home and have lunch with the wife after this call. Or maybe I shouldn't. Chris, my wife's been sure acting funny lately. Nervous light and jittery. It all began when she won the prize money on that radio giveaway program. it, Dan Baker, a check for $2,500. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> it's pretty as a picture, Chris. What are you going to do with it, frame it or buy the Queen Mary? Neither. I've decided to put it in a savings account. But I thought you wanted so many things. A deep freeze, that suede coat, wall-to-wall -wall carpeting for the house. I know all the things I wanted, Dan. I'm still going to bank it. <laughs> I figured at the time that maybe Chris had the right idea, save for a rainy day and all that. But conked me the wrong way was the fact she deposited the money in her own name. The trouble on Janesta Avenue turned out to be routine. A complaint that there was interference on the line and the reception was bad. After checking the chatterbox in the house and finding it okay, I went out to the telephone pole a couple of houses down. And I strapped on my belt and climbers. As I prepared to go up the toothpick, 
I recognized it as the terminal pole of the neighborhood. I was on the gang that uh, anchored it when we first got phones in our track. After checking the line, finding it all clear, I hooked my earphone to the lead wire from my own house. I intended to give my wife a buzz and let her know I'd be home for lunch. No, no, listen to me, Jimmy, darling. It's got to be today. It must be, or oh, we might as well call the whole thing off. Oh, wait a minute, Chris. I'm not letting you call it off. It's just that I don't think I can get there before six. But you know Dan gets home at five. We've got to follow our original plan. I already withdrew my money from the bank. I got a certified check. I'll have to let a few things go. Well, do it. We'll take care of them later, Jimmy. All right, Chris. What about the car? Leave it to me, Jimmy. I'll make sure Dan goes to put it in the garage. Good. I'll make sure the garage door is closed. When he opens it, I'll be there, waiting. <laughs> I forgot about lunch. I wasn't hungry. The afternoon went by in a daze, and it was 5 o'clock. Checked the truck into the company garage and headed the family sedan for home. I made up my mind to let them go through with what they planned. Without Chris, I'd be dead anyway. That's the way I feel about her. I can't help it. Even now. There she is. The same sweet smile. The same wave of the hand. Pretending to water the lawn while she waits for me. Waits to send me to my... Hi, Danny. Will you put the car in the garage? Hi, Chris. Open the garage door, will you? Oh, I, I can't. I got my hands full with the watering. You do it, honey. Just the way they planned it. What about the car? Leave it to me. I'll make sure Dan goes to put it in the garage. Good. I'll make sure the garage door is closed. When he opens it, I'll be there, waiting. How do you do, Mr. Baker? My name's Jim Darling. Jim Darling? That's right. My sister Frances is married to your next-door neighbor. Your wife, Chris, and I hatched up this surprise. Here are the keys to your new car. What? My new car? Surprise, sweetheart. Oh, just because you forgot your own birthday, don't expect me to forget it. Happy, happy birthday. Rosemary. Yes, Dennis. Well, what about the idea you had? You know, where the picture producers will be running after me to make use of my talents? Huh? Oh, yes. Well, this is it. Did you see High Noon, Three Coins in a Fountain, and uh, The High and the Mighty? Oh, sure. Well, all these movies had theme songs written about the picture's title. Mm -hmm. They all became hits and played a big part in the picture's success. Oh, good for them, but where do I come in, huh? You will sing the title songs for pictures that don't have any songs as yet. Hey, that, that sounds like a great idea How would this title song be for the picture Louis Pasteur? Louis Pasteur, Louis Pasteur Is a name that's highly prized Every cow that's in the pasture Now gives milk homogenized that, Well, that's the idea, all right, but... But Louis Pasteur was associated with pasteurize, not homogenize. I know, but this is the son of Louis Pasteur, so I brought it up to date. <laughs> Tell us, these songs have to be serious. Oh. Now, here's one about the picture Magambo. Okay. Kangaroos were jumping and the snakes all hissed. Every leopard spotted us each time we kissed. Baby, we were smooching and the rabbits yelled more. They were keeping the score. It was down in Magambo. <laughs> they were doing the mambo to a Dixieland combo. Magambo, how you've changed. See? <laughs> Those words are beautiful, Rosemary. Now, here's one that should be a smash, and it goes like this. A barefoot contessa left me singing the blues when in the middle of a kiss 
She went home to get her shoes. <laughs> With Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> On second thought, Dennis, maybe we're just too late. Well, it could be. You see, everything in Hollywood goes in cycles, and maybe, Rosemary, th this cycle is over. Well, what do you think the big trend is right now? Well, it seems to me like they're all on a Western kick, and all those Westerns that they're making have the same story. I hadn't noticed. Oh, sure. It always starts with the handsome stranger riding into town and saying, there's something funny going on here, and I'm going to stay here till I find out what it is. <laughs> and you know something? He always stays. You can't blame him. Did you ever get a load of that school, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing that always puzzled me was the scene in the lonely farmhouse where the doctor would be up all night constantly calling for boiling water. What was he doing behind that closed door for so many hours? Well, as Dr. Christian would say, I am a country doctor, and behind those closed doors I am performing a service to humanity. I get little money, I travel many miles through snow and sleet and work long hours with no sleep. I know, doctor, but what do you do with all that boiling water? I make instant coffee. <laughs> are the teenage pictures like yeah. Margie, Junior Miss, and Kiss and Tell. Dennis, I've got an idea. Why don't we do a scene from a teenage picture? I'll be the teenager, you'll be my boyfriend, and Jimmy Wallington will be my father. All right. Bobby, would you give us a little teenage music? <laughs> I feel so super. That must be my super date, Dennis. Come on in, Drip. Oh, Glorioski, you're sure swell and keen and peachy and super terrific. Let's ankle along, huh, Rosie? The gang's all out in my hot rod. Oh, super ginger, creamy, peachy. Who's in the car? Well, there's Bobby and Kay, George and Helen, Tony and Sue, Bill and Betty, Judy and Frankie, George and Elsie, John and Marsha, Roger and Dottie, and Gertrude. <laughs> Some sailor. <laughs> Gee, how'd you get all those kids in the hot rod? The top's down. <laughs> the bottom's down, too. Come on, Warren. Come on, Warren. Let's wiggle, huh? Come on, come on. Well, hello, Rosie, dear. Hi, Daddy. I'd like you to meet my boyfriend. He's real, real George. What a peculiar name. <laughs> oh, no, Daddy. His name's Dennis. Oh, hello, Dennis. Hello, Mr. Fenstermacher. <laughs> Dennis, I expect you to take good care of my rosemary. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll get her home before 12 o'clock, Mr. Fenstermacher. Uh, Dennis, you're a good boy. Thanks, Mr. Fenstermacher. <laughs> you're a fine lad. You're a swell guy, Mr. Fenstermacher. I like you, Dennis. And I like you, Mr. Fenstermacher. Hey, what am I supposed to do? Give your dress to your father. I'm taking him to the dance. <laughs> then, then there's always the one about the boy-girl song and dance team. Uh -huh. She gets a big chance to leave the act and to go out on her own, but she refuses. Yes, she won't leave them because they've been saving box tops together. <laughs> And they need only ten more to get a pair of supersonic spacesuits marked his and hers. Yes. They're sitting on a lonely, deserted park bench, and suddenly a 28-piece orchestra plays the introduction for their duet. <laughs> Sunbeams in broad daylight, the stars shine above. It may seem crazy, I may sound hazy, but that's my idea. Keep singing, the breeze keeps sighing, and the leaves fit the trees like a glove. 
the whole world's dreamy Peaches and creamy Yes, that's my idea of love Well, Dennis, that may be your idea of love, but here's mine Every time you come around How my heart begins to pound Baby, when we're squeezing Weather may be freezing But in your arms it's 90 above Every time you press my lips Feel it in my fingertips Yes, that's my idea of love Though we're on a quiet road I can see the stars explode When you say you're mine, dear Up and down my spine, dear I can feel a velvet glove I'm a keg of dynamite You and only you ignite Now that's my idea of love Say, Rosemary, why don't we take the his and hers and make it ours? Okay, let's put our heads and our ideas together That's a swell idea it may be raining Every time you come around Still I see How my heart begins to pound In broad daylight Baby, when we squeeze The weather may be freezing But in your arms it's 90 above It may seem crazy Every time you press my lips I may sound hazy Feeling my fingertips But that's my idea of love the birds keep singing So we're on a quiet road The breeze keeps sighing I can see the stars explode And the leaves When you say you're mine, dear Up and down my spine, like dear I can feel the velvet glove The whole world's dream I'm a keg of dynamite Peaches and cream You and only you ignite Yes, that's my idea of love Mary and Dennis, you two are just great. Well, thanks, Dick, and I love the way you played the scene earlier in the show. You know, I can see now why Paramount has cast you in such pictures as White Christmas and Sabrina. <laughs> well, you're very kind, Dennis, but what interests me right now is how did Dennis Day get his start? Like this. Listen. If 
If you never come, I'll still be there Till the moonlight turns to dust How I'd love to hear the choir In the chapel in the moonlight As they sang, oh, promise me for this week, folks. Next week, our guests will be Corky Hale, sensational swing harpist, and that great showman and comedian, Ken Murray. Join us then, won't you? This is Rosemary Clooney. And Dick Channon. And Dennis Day saying... <laughs> Every song that I sing, I'll sing to you, and I hope I can bring So long, everyone, and God bless you. <laughs>